all packed up with nowhere to go. Priscilla has been looking for a new home to rent for four months now, since her landlord told her that he needed to sell the home she's lived in for almost two decades. We moved here 2005, so my younger one was nearly three, and my other one was seven. So, you know, we made this house a home. It's a home for us. And did you ever think that you'd have to move out? Nope. No, but I never thought, maybe I was naive as well, not thinking that he will, you know, he will settle one day, I don't know. Priscilla is now desperate to find somewhere new for them to live. But despite applying for 20 properties and searching at all hours of the day, securing somewhere new to live has proved impossible. You know, I will have viewing to go and view the house like I have one today. And then because there are so many people, viewers, and then people will offer more on top of the rent there actually is. So the land, it's a landlord decision at the end of the day and he will choose, um, I guess, whoever is strongly financially. And how does that feel when it's, you just haven't got that money? It's hard, it's hard. And you're working. And I'm working. And my son is working. So you've got two incomes. Yeah. Did you ever think it would be this hard? No, not at all. The current financial pressures on renters are laid bare in a YouGov survey from the housing charity Shelter today, given exclusively to Channel 4 News. It found of the 6.4 million working private renters, half are only one paycheck away from losing their home. That figure is up by almost a third in just two years. According to the poll, over half of private renters have had their rent increased in the last year, meaning over a third are now struggling or behind with their rent. This is a direct result of the failure to build enough genuinely affordable social rented homes where rents are tied to local incomes. Because by not building those, what we've seen is that the private rented sector has doubled in size in the last 20 years. And that means that renters have nowhere to go uh, and they just have a pitted against one another at trying to outbid one another for a home. Hi there, it's Lee Collin from Landlord Action. This organisation helps landlords regain their properties from tenants. Have you um, served the notice already at all or done anything to all the tenant? The founder concedes it's the hardest time for tenants that he's ever known. But he's seeing through his own workload that the current situation isn't working for landlords either. Where the straw broke the camel's back was when interest rates, where landlords were paying 2% and they're now going up to 7%, who pays for that extra cost? A lot of those landlords are saying, I need to sell, I need to get out, it's just not worth it. 60% of the instructions we have are because landlords want their property back and want to sell. 40% are for rent arrears. I've never known that switch. So more and more landlords are getting out. You know, the government are earning lots of money out of taxes, but government need to build more properties, obviously. I just hope I'm not going to be end up on the road. In the last few days, Priscilla has been served a court order to leave so the landlord can complete the house sale. How did you feel when you got this through? Scared, actually, because it's just, I don't know how long this is going to take, how long I have, um, when the court will order me to go. So I am really, really scared and worried about that. Did it make you feel like you were being difficult? In a way, yes, because I'm still there. I do feel like, yeah, I am being difficult to him, which um, I don't want to be. And I haven't been because I've been looking for properties. But um, I, I can't do anything else. What's your fear? What yeah, to be, end up on the road and not having a roof under my head, over my head, sorry. So yeah, that's my worries. She hopes she'll find a new home before she has to pay any court fees. But the reality is there are many more families like hers out there, each competing for a shrinking number of privately rented homes and with less money to pay for it. Someone give me a chance and find a house. That's the only thing that would like to happen, so yeah.
And your pop reporting there. In response, the government told us we have a strong track record of delivering affordable homes to rent and buy across the country. Our landmark renters reform bill will also deliver a better deal for renters, giving tenants greater security in their homes and preventing large rent increases being used as a backdoor method of eviction.